Producer and Sound on the Maker with SunIsFuture.net. I'm here at InterSolar North America 2014 in the Moscone Center. And right here we have Ideal Powers Director of Applications Engineers, Mr. John Merritt. And he has a wonderful product and he would like to ex tell us a lot more of the exciting news about what they're coming out with because we know that for the multi-billion dollar industry, the solar industry, uh, much of its future is very much dependent on the progress that's going to be made in the uh, energy storage. And here we have Mr. John Merritt. Thanks for making time for me today. Appreciate the interview. Uh, what we've done at this show is introduced a new product. It is a three-port hybrid converter. Um, it allows you to integrate energy storage, solar, and a grid interface in one box. And traditionally, this is done by two or possibly three pieces of hardware. So with one piece of hardware, we can increase the efficiency of the system, the performance of the system, while decreasing weight and cost. So that's what's novel about the product. Up at this time, we focused on a two-port version, which is used in demand reduction applications here in California that are grid-tied. An example of that is on the wall behind us, where there's a 50-kilowatt battery and our 30-kilowatt battery converter. That's installed at a Walgreens in Southern California and is used for demand reduction. There's solar on the roof of that building, but late in the day when the sun goes down, that solar doesn't do much to offset peak demand, and so that box will export energy into the grid to offset the demands of the building. Uh, with the three port, we've combined that solar capability and the battery in one box. Uh, the other thing this box can do is it can create its own microgrid. So not only is it applicable to applications in the U.S. market where it's tied to the U.S. grid, it could be used in the Caribbean for an island microgrid, perhaps to power a resort. Uh, there'll also be versions that we call grid, grid resilient where it will normally be tied to the grid 99% of the time, but during a power outage, it can create its own microgrid within a building to power critical loads such as lighting and elevator, elevators and emergency pumps. And that's the very thing you needed in PV when Sandy hit New York and New Jersey yes. because those inverters are essentially dependent upon the grid to work. Lights go out because of a storm, the PV on the roof can't do you any good at all. So having these next generation devices that can power those critical loads, allow you to pump gas at a gas station, process credit cards at a grocery store, uh, during those uh, critical conditions is important. Yes, especially as we've seen the climate change, there's going to be more and more extreme temperature. Unfortunately, uh, more and more. Conditions. So this is really helpful for many, uh, most yeah. if not all of us. And, ooh, and you mentioned it will help to decrease the weight, the, uh, also the yeah. um, material so this, used. Yeah. So this box weighs 125 pounds. Our two-port box weighs 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and to get this functionality with today's technologies by pairing these boxes rather than one integrated box, you know, the weight savings is five to six, maybe eight X. Oh. The wiring complexity is maybe a quarter of the wiring complexity. So building these systems out and deploying these systems, two men can mount this on a wall. Those other pieces of equipment need to be moved by forklift. Mm -hmm. They need to have be rated, they need to sit on a load rated floor, which means in some cases you can't put them on the second or third floor of a high rise. Uh -huh. So there's all kinds of logistics advantages with this lightweight equipment that you won't have with traditional power equipment, allowing us to put it in more places. Oh, yes, and I see it's outdoors, so it's a lot safer. Yeah, Less so this system is outdoors. The green charge system is outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it is NEMA 3R rated, which means it is an outdoor box. Um, uh, most of the systems that are installed, oh, they're a blend of indoor and outdoors. We're kind of ambivalent the box works in both places and it's right. it'll work to very high temperatures so it's uh, certainly comfortable with hot desert climates in Southern California very good we're going to be for looking forward to seeing the uh, three port the hybrid three port converter in the next few months or yes so that what we're going to do what we're going to be demonstrating first is the off-grid product we've had some major customers ask for that first rather uh -huh. than grid tied uh, one of those applications is military microgrids, which isn't a large market, but it's a market where there's a lot of energy and a lot of effort right now. So we'll be using uh, the product and some applications there. Uh, the next market would be, um, uh, you know, island communities, First Nation communities, oh, yes. resorts, Hawaii. 
Uh, and then their next version of the product will be the grid tied version, and the last version of the product will be li delivering later this year. It's the grid resilient that combines those two features in one box. So currently it's available in how many states, and do you foresee it eventually will be covering all 50 states? Uh, the box right now, the two port box, we're selling nationwide, but the market is, uh, is California all right. for the grid tied versions. The off grid versions are, it's a broader community of audiences. Uh, Caribbean, we have lots of interest in Mexico, uh, South America, but we're a small company, so we're going to take this one step at a time. Right, but as we see in the next five years, it's probably going to be, uh, as the uh, storage efficiency increases, uh, this is probably even it's a worldwide more market. demand. It's a worldwide market, yes. and this this box will, will eventually play to worldwide standards, 50 hertz standards. Today it is North American standards only. Well, thank you very much, John, for thank the few you. minutes with us, and we really appreciate the product and, and look forward to seeing it everywhere. Okay, and right. this is signing off, Susan Sun Nanamaker with Sun is Featured on that.